the first thing I want to say is uh, all these things that we call revolutions, uh, whether it's the first, second, third industrial revolution, and now the fourth, typically take a few decades before their ramifications are entirely felt or, or widespread or permeate or go down the population social income strata. So it's not as if the world will be upended in two years or three years. Uh, it may take, uh, you know, the legacy will survive, uh, new stuff will come in, uh, they will both coexist, and gradually the new stuff will increase in share. Now, I have seen this industry after industry. So I remember about seven, eight years ago, um, I was in a NASCOM retreat, and uh, McKinsey partners came in and said everything is changing because the world is digitizing, they're moving to platforms, product, uh, you know, and the Indian IT services industry. You have to really change everything, right? Now, the truth is uh, growth slowed down in the old way of doing business, but business survived and it continues to grow, although not as fast as it used to. But new ways of business, new products, uh, you know, new services came in and now both are coexisting. So usually when economies transition, when industries transition, uh, you know, uh, there's a longish period of time when both the old and the new coexist. And this is even more so in India, in a country of 1.3 million people, 67% uh, live in rural India, uh, you know, uh, where things change, yes, they change, uh, but they don't have to change as fast as they do in urban India. And therefore, uh, you know, we'll see India, there are several types of India which coexist, and I think that is going to continue for a while, right? So there will be parts of India which will be really impacted immediately. And there will be several parts will be impacted after a decade or two, right? And we have to see how that goes. 